to wake up i already did her breakfast i already prepared her milk i did oreo i cut some apples and i did a peanut butter and jelly with no crust because my daughter loves peanut butter and jelly so i'm just waiting for her to wake up and then i'm ready to go i'm ready to go out with my kids i just want to say to people like um i get really upset sometimes i get really upset and um Sometimes I don't have no patience. You want to know something like yesterday I called my publicist when I saw that clip about my kid and everything and she was calling mother for like 20 minutes straight and it's like, oh, is this ignoring us? So I did got on social media and I started bugging out because that shit really got me upset. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, probably wouldn't understand it, but it's like you will really feel upset if you go on an interview and you're shaking hands and you're smiling and you you originally go to an interview to speak about to speak about a show that's coming out which is rhythm and flow and then people ask you like oh so yeah you you so you're so inspiring when it comes to your to you know just practically motherhood and everything and um and it's like you you talking and then you know to see that gets chopped up and then use that that they use for the clickbait that really got me hot and when i get hot i get really hot i don't know guys maybe i get angry and you just oh but i get really crazy and i and and i'm sorry like you know what i'm saying and when it comes to that joe button podcasting like i already spoke the day before about it i wasn't really mad about it but it's just like you know while i was doing interviews um like it, i just felt like it's like um people keep asking me how do i keep balancing every bit business venture and being a mom at the same time and i just feel like they as men don't get it how i gotta juggle so much at the same time so if it seems like i'm not focused on something it's not because i don't love it because i love making music when i was doing my my first two mixtapes i was so in love with making music i was so in love with creating and then listening to the final product and nowadays when it comes to making music it's, it's a lot of pressure because people expecting you to not even have fun with music people are expecting you for the music to chart or people compare your lyrics to what other women are doing and everything and it just becomes pressure it's it's, it's like a job you know what i'm saying like it's like a career that you chose to do because you choose that career because you love it you go to school for it and and you just love it but after a while when there's so much pressure in your career you just get you don't get tired you just feel a little bit overwhelmed from it and you know it, i don't think it's bad that that you 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 choose to do business ventures i want to grow i want to learn I, I i should grow and learn and i should be a mom to my kid i don't i don't know the other guy that's on that joe podcast i don't know him i don't give a fuck about him when it comes to joe button though um i like joe button and joe button has said certain shit about me but I'm always gonna like Joe Button, even when he was beefing with Amigos. I was really sad about it because I always liked Sin Santana. I used to work with her, and she was always really nice. And because Joe Button before, now this is some real shit though. Like Joe Button invited me to his podcast, and when I went to his podcast, I barely even ha I went with my hair, my my own real hair, and I barely had hair on my head, and I was just so excited to to go to his show because you know in new york he was he was everywhere and you know he and he's like a big socialite guy socialist guy in in new york so i i felt like that was pretty dope that he invited me to his podcast and he made me feel very welcome joe budden was known for violating people or for being sarcastic and he was very cool respectful and dope 
when he interviewed me and i don't know if i was already on love and hip-hop or i was on love and hip-hop i know that my teeth was crooked and i know i didn't have no weave or anything and i always respect that so it's like i don't give a if you ever got some to say about me i'm gonna always still remember that he invited me to his i don't know the other though so i don't i could care less about the other mother but that's something i gotta say about joe Biden. And yesterday, I was just practically so mad that I was just, ah, just going all off because everybody always just wondering how you balance all these crazy things at the same time. And it's just, it's, it's hard, it's crazy. And then it's just like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Like, like people would just be saying like, don't, don't express yourself. When don't don't be talking or oh, you need to have more self control. But to be honest with you, y'all be always at, telling me to be like certain artists, and it's like these artists really be coming to me and be be thanking me that I be I be talking. They really do. A lot of these artists too, they be on drugs, they be fucked up because they just they just have insecurities and they feel like they cannot speak and everything. I don't do no drugs. I barely drink. And if I got to express my feeling to keep myself sane, then I will. Certain shit I just don't play about. It might just... Everybody always talk about when I'm ranting, but nobody never talks when I'm doing good shit. I've been chilling. I've been minding my business. Nobody talks about it. As soon as Cardi rants, oh, it's a problem. It's a this, it's a that. Man, what the I've said it's I've said it's not a lie. Oh my stomach hurt. What's wrong with me? You motherfucker be lying. Lying than a motherfucker. What should I be for Halloween? Maybe I should just be a fucking witch. Oh, Faith is there. Hi, I thought it was lying. Oh, hi husband. I miss you. But matter of fact, let me get you on. Let me see if I get you on the live. But babe, I went crazy yesterday. I know that you have seen it. I've been very shy. I have, you know, I haven't brought it up to you because I know you're gonna curse me out. But this, but babe, <laughs> I know you're gonna curse me out. But babe, look, I, got I won't mad. curse you out because violent. You can't. I ain't gonna stop you on that part. But my daughter, we ain't playing like KK for sure. But that's what I'm saying, though. I went that's what I'm saying. And you know why I got on live and started spazzing? Because I called Ashley, right? I called Ashley, and it took Ashley, like, almost 30 minutes to get on the phone with them. So I started to feel like they started ignoring me. So I'm like, all right, now I'm going to go and violate them that's on live. That's why I started violating. Because it's like, yo, come on now. Like, I didn't even win. I didn't even win to do press about nothing else but rhythm and rhythm and flow so if you talk to me about juggling mommy lifestyle and everything and then you're gonna try to play it like my Let's daughter talking to somebody else mom that got me so high and then you ask it was the setup. setup right and that's why yeah, and the who man, said man. it probably most of these brother, who said it most of these probably be taking care of their kids they say us yeah, you gonna why the hell you gonna say that to a mama anyway? Why would you be play like that ain't even nothing to play with? It's, it's like our daughter. Bro, there was once this powerful woman that had a whole fucking show canceled for playing with their kid, for talking about their kid. I don't understand why people think that the kids be jokes. Back in the day, let me tell you something. When people used to violate me, I used to be like, all right, I'm gonna go for the people that hurt you the most. I'm violating everybody. Now, I don't even play that way because I just understand. Like, if you're going to violate me, just violate me. But just that kiss is like... Then you smiling That's, in my that, face, though. You don't say... You don't never say that about nobody. Period. Yeah. I don't even play that way. You ain't about to play with that. All right, that's why I ain't call you. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that to you about it, cause. You a mama, you got the right. My mama ain't playing about me. And that's why they deleted that. that because it's like, bro, they know they dead wrong. Somebody need to apologize, man. I'm playing with my daughter, like, 
shit lame. Like, you don't even get no points even doing like that. Yeah. She innocent. She don't know nobody. And then, man, your mama ain't playing. You had a right. That's why I ain't call you. I ain't gonna call you about no like that. Shit. Out of your business. Really out here cloud chasing on the dirt level. How dare you? How dare y'all? And when I see y'all, I'm a scratch y'all. Scratch y'all. Deep. Deep. And I'm trying it. Take time of my day to interview me. Y'all take time of my day to interview me to chop up. Y'all make it leave. Y'all make it seem like, yeah, yeah. Coach is calling somebody else. My dumb. I don't play when it comes to my child. I don't. So don't use my kid for clickbait. Ask Sex Hollywood. My whole. I hope your mom catch. The. Y'all this is crazy. Y'all this is crazy. You're gonna ask me, yo, how is motherhood? How is everything in life? How is everything in life? How is working and being a mother? And it's like, yeah, a lot of people are expecting a lot of about me. They're not, they don't, they don't realize that I work and I have to be a mom. So five hours that people be like, oh yeah, you gotta do rap songs, you gotta do rap albums. Yeah, we want another song, Cardi. Cardi, we want another song. Yeah, uh, I gotta get back for my kid. And I got to spend time with my kid. And then you're going to chop up? Try to make a scene like my mom cut somebody, like my daughter cut somebody else. Mom? Me? The f***? Chop f***ing mine. Chop f***ing mine. That shit got me so hot, my n***a. So hot. Like, yo, I do not play when it comes to my f***ing child. Don't play with me. And then you want a mother you and then and then what you use for clickbait on YouTube is culture call somebody else mommy. Are you crazy? That is so disrespectful. So disrespectful. That got me so hot.